The whole discussion about who God is is in a state of great chaos and turbulence. I'm thinking here of the famous book, Greek Grammar Beyond Basics by Daniel Wallace. He has this statement on page 267, that the fourth gospel has the text 1030, I and the Father are one, and he's using that to point to the identification of Jesus with God. Now that is patently not true, and the word biblical commentary is dead against him here. This is really a very fine work, and the word Bible commentary says on John, the exegesis of John 10.30 in the early Trinitarian controversies, it says this is evidently not what that text says, although the early church fathers tried to say that John 10.30, I and the Father one, was a Trinitarian proof, and this book well says that is evidently not what John meant in his exegesis. Furthermore, the even equally authoritative theological dictionary of the New Testament in the long article on Theos, on God, says that the early church fathers imported the dogma into the New Testament, imported it into the New Testament, and I quote, early Christianity itself, however, does not yet have the problem of the Trinity in view. That's a striking statement, page 109 of volume 3 of the prestigious theological dictionary of the New Testament. I repeat, the New Testament does not yet have the, have the, yet have the problem of the Trinity. Of course it doesn't. We've created this problem. We don't need to if we we'll listen carefully to Jesus in Mark 12, 29, and also equally in the famous Lord's Prayer in John 17, 3, where Jesus makes this statement, that you, Father, are the only one who is the true God. That is pure Jewish, unitary, unipersonal God, the one Yahweh, the one person. Nothing difficult in any sense about that. Uh, John 17, 3 should be memorized by everybody and recited daily, along with the Shema. That would solve our problems. Then we'd get back to the basis of what the Scriptures are really telling us. It's perfectly obvious grammatically that in the Bible God is a divine person, a singular, single, divine person. I know this because Malachi 2.10 says, the Jews typically saying this, uh, that do we not all have one creator? Isn't one God our Father? Father and creator are one there. Yahweh is evidently a synonym for the Father. The prestigious theological dictionary of the New Testament in, in the long article, which I recommend everybody could, ought to read, on Theos. This is on page 78 and 79 and 80 of volume 3 of the theological dictionary of the New Testament. We read this. He says, first of all, that Yahweh is obviously a synonym for the Father, for God. Yahweh and God are synonyms. And the concept of God, I'm reading here, includes the concept of person and is shaped by it. Well, of course, God's a divine, single person, one Lord God. This really is not very difficult. It, there's an obvious explanatory exposition, he says, uh, on page uh, 81, that Yahweh, that's to say God, is the Father. There's no question about this. God is a single person. Every Jew knows that to this day. Jews were prepared to die for this. Jesus recites it, endorses it in Mark 12. If we could settle that argument once for all, then we could, discuss, we could then start discussing who is this Jesus in relation to the one God the Father.